All right, everyone, let's uh, go out right now to New York City here, getting an update on, fortunately, two kids found dead. Let's listen right here on Live Now from Fox. At approximately 11, 20 hours today, four, six precinct cops responded to a job here at, excuse me, 240 East 175 Street. Upon arrival, they observed two five-year-olds, one male, one female, unconscious and unresponsive. EMS and FDNY responded to the location and determined these two young people to be deceased. As a result of the investigation, we have a crime scene set up upstairs. At this time, we do not know if there's any foul play, being that the investigation is very fresh. But we have the medical examiner and we have our crime scene unit upstairs waiting to process the crime scene as we get a search warrant. That's what we have at this time. I'll take some questions. Was anybody home with the children when they were, when they were found? Or... Yes. Who, who found them? Was it the, the child? The child's mother okay. was with them, both children's mother. Were they under constant supervision, or was there a period of time when they were left alone? That's unknown at this time, but the mother was there the whole time with them. Okay. Were the children for see? carbon monoxide poisoning? The fire department did come, and they, they informed us that the air was sick. Were the kids sick at the moment? You know, any sign of the kids that they the, were the, the kids were sick last week, and they were sent home from school. What was the nature of that sickness, do you know? Unknown at this time. Nicole Johnson? How you doing? Is there a history of domestic violence or an ACS case with this family? No history of domestic violence and no ACS cases to the home or connected to the parents. Has anyone been detained for questioning or anything? Repeat that. Has anyone been detained for questioning? Yes. The father is currently at the 4-6 recent cooperative. The mother was removed to the hospital for treatment. She's not injured, but she's emotionally destroyed. At this point, we're going to treat it as a crime scene because we don't know whether it's foul play or not. So we don't want to tamper with the scene. So the ME will let us know based on their investigation and our crime scene unit of whether it was foul play. So you still have nothing visibly evident that would say, okay, this has to be a crime Nothing visibly ev evident at this time, Nicole. Chief, just talk about this time of year. We lost two children here. Just talk about the investigators. How are officers feel? Hey, um... You know, even myself going up there in the offices, when you when you go up and you see two five-year-olds laying on the floor, unresponsive and cold, at this time of the year, you could imagine what the family's going through. You could imagine what the mother's going through and the father. You know, at the time, the father wasn't home. So obviously, you know, what, what he's going through in his mind. So, you know, at this point, we have to do our job as far as the crime scene. It, it Hopefully, it's not a crime scene. Hopefully, it's an unfortunate tragedy. But we do feel for everybody in the community as well as um, the family because there is an extended family that we haven't even spoke about at this point. Thank you, everybody. That's it. Uh, please, please refer to DCPI. That's it. Thank you. A very unfortunate incident right there. Investigation ongoing right now. Uh, they are going to continue uh, to look into it right here for you. I'm live now from Fox. Let's step away for another two-minute break right here.